and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Hoimy Craved. How did that horse escape? What in the world? How? How horse? That's Miyamore. Hey, come here. Okay. Uh, get back in your pen. How did the horse jump over the... Stay inside there. You are my beloved. We need to take this horse. We're going to do something today. I think we're going to attempt the impossible. Our goal today is to finish a game for the charity event coming up. The Hermits are doing a lovely, wonderful, amazing charity event. We're all getting together. We're all making some great games. Scar's been organizing it tirelessly and beautifully on the 23rd, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So I have a contribution that, like I said, we're in time, kind of a time crunch, and I don't know if it's going to be possible. Here's step one to see if this is going to be possible. Okay, the horse is through. The horse is through. Is the horse suffocating? Is the horse okay? It's suffocating. Save it. Save the horse. Stop. All right, this poor... Oh, man. Okay, this is a rough start. That horse... That wasn't my best horse, but that was a good one. Uh... You know, with this being a, a three-wide portal, I thought we'd be fine. The horse would just get pushed out, but the game pushed it into that wall. Well, okay. Not a great start. <laughs> Not a good outlook so far. You know what? For the sake of getting a grasp of, of what we're talking about and where we're going to be building, I'll do it in the overworld. So right over there, you can see my monolith, and then my base is behind that. We cross this big lake, and we head this way. Over these mountains... <coughs> I'm also fighting two weeks of sickness, but just over that mountain range, we're heading this way, and we have all the games. Now, a lot of the hermits have already made games. Etho made a game, he made it all in one day, and he's inspired me. I want to do that as well. Well, not one day, but one episode. Uh, Tango's made a game, I've helped him kind of test that a little bit. Cub has made a game, and it's my turn. Now, I've marked out this huge area right here where this deep slate is. So you can see the corner there, here, corner over there, corner over there. This whole area is going to be needed. <laughs> I'm going to have to move these beacons a little bit and stuff, uh, but it's going to be worth it. Because our goal today, believe it or not, is to bring back the Season 8 Horse Course. Last season, Etho and I tirelessly hours and days and hours spent in making the perfect horse course, and we never used it. Well, what better opportunity than the charity event? So I'm bringing the whole thing back, block for block. We're going to have it all right in here. I was going to bring that horse over because it's good breed stock, but uh, I'm going to have to find other horses, looks like. So that's, that's uh, problem number one. We're gonna face quite some difficulties. The biggest difficulty, an enemy, the protagonist in this story is time. Will we have time to do this? Second protagonist, blocks. Third protagonist, my sickness. Will I have the energy to keep up with it? Fourth protagonist, good times with Scar, always distracting me with his Disney stories. Four or five protagonists, I'm snow, snowfall in. Protagonist is bad guy, for those of you that don't know. But anyway, I'll put this um, hitching post here that's going to be useless for right now. And I need to start carving away at this land. That's going to be the biggest thing. Lots of digging and carving to get the roads and terrain to work out like it did. But I've got a lot of blocks. All of these shulkers are full of materials that we're going to be using. So uh, let me just take one step at a time. And let's see if we can get through this thing today. Hopefully, we'll be able to have a horse course that we can use at the charity event. Otherwise, this will act as a nice backdrop for uh, all the other games over here. Oh, there's actually one thing. I'm back at the shopping district because there's one thing I needed to check out. Uh, Corrales has brought back the gas station. I mean, if it's a season eight revival, look at this. He's, he's using the glow signs and all that stuff, but we had this gas station concept where you repair yourself and all your stuff. Um, I want to use this because I got to repair some of my tools before I get digging in stuff. Oh, it's been used a lot. Okay, we put two diamonds in. Okay, 
And then I want to repair my pickaxe and let's dual wield these two. Yes? And we go. Oh, yes! It's coming from everywhere. What a fun, this is a wonderful car wash. And it got pretty much two tools all healed up. Okay, that was amazing. That healed two of my tools. All my armor was in pretty good shape. I love it. Okay, now we're ready to start building. All right, students, it's progress report time. And don't mind my glasses, I, I had a meeting with the king. The sweet king, he loves when I wear his uh, famous glasses. It makes him feel honored and respected. But how are we doing? Uh, is this possible? Can, can I do this in such a short period of time? I'm starting to feel like it might not happen. <laughs> We're going to keep trying, though. We're going to keep trying our heart out. Uh, part of the big mistake that I made is that, and, and if I don't get this done, we'll still do something at some point. Uh, part of the big mistake I made is that I planned this thing a little bit into the ground. I planned this to be uh, not just setting on top of the terrain, but inside the terrain a little bit. That way, when I dig things out a little bit, if I need grass, I already have it. I don't have to go and collect grass somewhere else. I'm collecting it as I'm carving out the terrain. The problem is when you have areas like this, where there is a big section here. And um, although I have haste, haste is nice. You can really... With haste, look at this, you just rip through, you know, no problem. But what haste doesn't do is it doesn't I show you. Let's see, is this? Yeah, powdered snow, it doesn't haste through like this. Boom, smash, but then slow, slow, slow. I keep hearing Tango and Etho and Cub Fan all in my head. They're not actually talking to me, but I'm hearing them in my head. And they're saying, beat ups, why did you do that? Why didn't you just build it on top? And why are you wasting all this time digging? I don't know. I don't know. I thought it'd be a good idea. But can you get a sense? Those of you that had saw the horse course last season, does this look familiar? There's a big castle that'll go here that I still have to build. Ay, ay, ay. And this is the starting line. This, there's a little area here. The starting line, you go here. There's a pit stop there for when you take a second lap. And then you go here and you jump some pressure plates and there's some thick, thick, thick water things here. And then you go, there's a bridge that goes over here and some water things here. And yeah, it's all coming along. I'm getting all the pieces in, but oh my goodness, it is, it is hours and hours in and I have not gotten nearly as close. I haven't even touched. All these shulkers are full of materials that I need to use to build this. I haven't even touched them. I'm still working on terrain. This is for charity. I got to do it. Okay. Beatups is locking in. I'm locking in. We're going to get this thing done. What a roller coaster. Oh, baby. Okay. So, uh, it, it's very late at night now. I've been going. I've been grinding all day. And I'm feeling better. I don't, I don't think I have much digging left to do. There's a lot. <laughs> There's other problems. This section here was a bunch of slime blocks connected to redstone. That is all underneath, and they would push up and push you. And there's other there there's redstone stuff that I'll have to do. Uh, but but I am feeling confident. I'm going to bed feeling rejuvenated. Let's go in cheat camera. Oh, hello, beautiful face. Very gorgeous. So here's the starting line right here. Okay, I'm starting to put some of the pieces in, some of the decorative, and starting to get part of the castle put together. But it, you can see it's starting to come together. This huge chunk right here, I'm not going to cut out. This is just going to be a tunnel. Wait, I feel like I'm cheating doing this fly camera. Um, 
that tunnel is just going to be a tunnel. It wasn't in the original, but it's uh, an upgrade. But I've got these little ruins in here. I have this uh, beautiful bridge getting started. And so I'm thinking we might make it. There are some resources that are going to be a hindrance that I need. I need apparently a lot of obsidian. I don't remember having obsidian in this, but maybe that's relative to the redstone. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but the big one is going to be soul sand. There are some patches. You've seen some patches. Up. I've been walking around. We need lots of soul sand. That's imperative for the slowing and uh, the balancing of the track. But I'm going to bed hopeful. I think we're in a good spot. Tomorrow's going to be a big... It's all going to be dependent on my redstone prowess. Etho did all the redstone, but I just have to duplicate it. I think I'll be able to, hopefully. So anyway... I think we're going to be make it. Now, while B-dubs takes a little shreepy, why don't you and I take a quick commercial break? Well, today is my 40th birthday. So if you haven't uh, wished me a happy birthday yet, this is be being recorded several days before you're seeing it. So you are not my friend. But since it is my birthday, there's a, a wide variety of birthday decorations that are being put out. So I'm going to use them as a visual aid for us today. Do the Raycon Everyday Earbuds come with custom gel tips? Heck yes they do! This is a wide variety of comfortable custom gel tips that you get that fit your ears perfectly. And as I've mentioned in the past, once you put them in, you can't shake them out. Did you know that the average pizza has eight slices? Well, the Raycon Everyday Earbuds have eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. Well, I've been getting a lot of messages from people lately saying that they have purchased the Everyday Earbuds. Did you know that there are three custom sound profiles? So if you hold on the left side for three seconds, you can switch to your favorite sound profile and enjoy your music and have good vibes. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds also come in a wide variety of color options. Not these colors specifically. You can get them in carbon black, electric blue, flare red, and rose gold. So if you want to buy the perfect birthday present for somebody, or if there's a holiday coming up that you might think, ooh, this would be the perfect present for them, check out the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash beatups to get 15% off of your purchase. Okay, it is the next day and B-dubs is rumbling and tumbling and bumbling. There is one thing that is really standing in our way. Soul sand. I need four stacks of it. And to get it in the nether is a little bit difficult. Now, our sweet friend Tango, ooh, he's laggy in here. Our sweet friend Tango has a piglin bartering farm. Can I make this in one rocket? Let's see. Yes! Wonderful job. Okay, he has made a piglin bartering farm f f somewhere. I gotta find it. I'm lost. I'm lost this quick. This is precious time, and I turned around! Oh no. Okay. Ah! Hello, sir. Hi. I'm looking for Tango's bartering farm. Are you- Ah! No! <laughs> ah! He, ah! he dropped a lot of Suarez! How- Okay, that must mean I'm getting close, I think. Look at that little guy run! Hey, you little cutie baby! Hey, why- why are you on the roof of Nether? Aha! Aha! Yes! Oh, wonderful! Okay, we found it. There- Tango has made a beautiful, lovely bartering farm out here, uh, to where it get it, all those piglins up there. They just give all the goods, and one of the things they give is soul sand. Yes! Oh, we did it! One, two, three, four, that's all I need. And look, he's got plenty of backfill. This is nothing. Oh, it's not even making a dent. Four. I'll take more. All right, now I have nine rockets to make it home. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to walk the whole way. Oh, yes. Okay, things are looking up on this final day. My last chance. The final push. Okay, so... We got all of our soul sand, beautiful, and I've been doing a little bit. I'm starting to dip into, I used all the soul sand over there for that crane, and that's a super slow area trap thing, but 
I'm working my way slowly. I'm just testing the waters with replicating Ethos Redstone, which is simple and easy. So this is the first thing. There's a door here, and you can go two ways. And I actually need to get crossbows. Shouldn't be a problem. If you shoot this target, this door should open. Please open. And we should hear a song as well. Yes! I did perfect redstone. Wait, but that's supposed to close. You know what? No, I actually, I think I did it right. Okay, so you shoot it, and then he's got this, and then the horse go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's good. And it doesn't work this way. Okay, oh, perfect. Okay, so I was really hopeful that the redstone wouldn't be terrible. It's definitely slowing things quite a bit. This process took about an hour. <laughs> and there's some more complex redstone stuff to do, but we're trudging along. I'm about halfway through the day here. Uh, I, we're just gonna keep going. Keep going till we get her done for charity. <laughs> And for the moment of truth. Uh-oh. Okay. Very funny, donkey. Very funny. Aha. Perfect. Okay. I missed a piece of redstone. I knew I wired everything perfect. Okay. And now for the moment of truth. Yeah. Yes. Kablamo. Yes. The redstone prowess is all right here. I've done it. I've done it. I wired the pit stop myself. I wired this thing myself. Yes. Ah, that's very slow. Ooh, I got all the water drop. Oh, this is the worst jumping horse. Okay. Okay. And I got this redstone working right here where it goes back and forth just like so. I did this with my own redstone prowess. Can this horse even make this? Can it? It did make it, wonderful. I even wired this thing, we did it on camera. You saw, I missed, I didn't hit it. Okay, I even wired this thing and it works perfectly. And I go right through and then I'll actually go back this way because we got all that soul sand and this is for this thing. This poop conveyor that slows you down real slow. And check this out. Yes, I did my redstone prowling right here. Where this thing, if you if you get caught, it's random. But if you go, yeah, I launch off. And then I got this kablammo. Those of you that have seen the horse course before, you've seen all this, you know all this. But, and then they all reset with redstone behind this wall. And then this launcher, I made it again. And bad worst jumper. This is a stupidest donkey. It's gonna be on horses, I hope. And then I put all these things in that will have uh, swiftness. I got a straight. All right, listen. You're gonna have to step up your game too because everybody's watching. I got this thing. I hit it? I did hit it. And this will be full of potions that you can get. And there's one over there as well, hidden behind the beacon that I'll remove. I got all this done. I got the buildings done. I got this target arrow working. I did it all. I got this. I did it all for charity. Yes. I did it. Why is this open? Oh, it stays open. Right, it stays open. That's right. It stays open because uh, you do a couple laps. But goodness sakes, it's done. <laughs> I can't believe my prowess. Oh, yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So there's a little bit of cleanup. Let's put this horse away. Goodness sakes. Guys, I'm so happy. I, I am I'm just so unbelievably thrilled. That this is that this is here now. There's things I have to do. I gotta get grass. Like these, these everything from here on out is somewhat unnecess unnecessary. There's small beautification. Get grass, like bone meal around, and make it look a little more realistic. And there's also, <coughs> sorry, I'm still sick. 
Um, maybe worse now. Uh, there's also like some floating that I have to blend, but that's so easy. That'd be so simple. But really, once we get that in, that's going to be a nice feature up on the hill there. Um, as a backdrop, I mean, the view we have around here, Scar picked a gorgeous spot. All the stuff that we've got together, Ethos game, magnificent. This in the background, the beautiful mountains. By the way, since we're here on Ethos game, you know, everything's a competition, especially between me and Etho. Etho made his game here in a one episode, and he's bragging about it. And now look at me make my whole thing in one episode. So it's up to you guys to decide who's the who's the best. Who who did the coolest thing? You're looking at him. It's me. I did the coolest. Well, we haven't played Ethos game. It might be cool. I promise mine's cooler. I win. Aha. Uh, and I even did his own his own redstone by myself. Prowess. But yeah, from here, it's just going to shops and buying, like, I got to get all the swiftness arrows. I got to get the potions to fill in these things and just a little bit of beautification. Additionally, I need to get some horses. <laughs> this is the old that donkey was just over there. So I thought I'd use him for the test run. But, uh, <coughs> but yeah, that's really all that's left. Just get the potions in, get some saddles and horses and we are ready to go. I needed to get this done. The charity event is the 23rd, Sunday. I'll be streaming it along with many other hermits, and we're all going to be competing in all of these mini games on teams. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I'm so excited, but I have to get it done early so we can make sure everything's ready and get things tested, and, you know, you don't want to just have it ready the day of. That's how you have get problems. Oh, we thought the horse course died with season eight, didn't we? It did not. It's back. Thank goodness. So we can even use this. I mean, this mini game district, Etho mentioned how, you know, we can play his game, Battle Bane, uh, every once in a while just for fun. And we could do horse course racing just for fun every once in a while, uh, which I think will be great. So I'm, I'm excited that we will actually get to get some use out of this before the moon comes down and blows the whole planet up. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for beer. I know we already made this once before, but I figured, hey, if we knock it all out in an episode, we might have something pretty cool here. So I hope you enjoyed. I love you to death, and we'll see you in the next episode.